Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 1706 FB. It's a great couples coach, nice and short, just under 3,200 pounds. This particular model we're going to go over today has the cherry red exterior and the stone interior. Let's start off right over here on the dinette. So one of the things I love when manufacturers do, especially in a smaller coach like this, is give you a campsite dinette. It's exactly what you want. You have a big window right here so you can look out at your campsite, you can enjoy the view, not staring out at your neighbors. That way you're you know, having your morning cup of coffee or breakfast, whatever it may be, maybe still see the fire smoldering, but whatever. But I love it when they're able to put this here. The other cool thing about the dinette is it does have enough room. Uh, you know, if you have kids or something, you can fit two on each side here. And this also does drop down into a bed. All you have to do is remove the legs out, the table sits on the rails, cushions will fill in the top. Also, right underneath on this side over here, there is an electrical outlet. So if you have to plug in any kind of phone or laptop, tablet, whatever it may be, you have the capability to do that here at the table. Up top, you'll see nice additional storage. You can see that right there. LED light here for night makes it nice and bright. Of course, the great thing about LEDs, which this coach has throughout, is the fact they use a fraction of the power and don't put out near the heat. You'll also notice some speakers here in the ceilings. So that way, if you want to rock out to some music, you can certainly do that. Right up here is your King Jack. This is nice too. This is hooked up to the TV, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, the King Jack is great because it's one less thing you have to worry about. No longer do you have to crank the antenna up and crank it back down or remember to crank it back down so it doesn't break off. With this, all you have to do is turn it to find the best signal and that will pick up your local HD channels. Then right up here, you have a vent. That way, if you want to cross breeze, you don't want to turn on the AC, uh, you can just open up some windows, open that guy up and get the breeze coming through. It is a rear entry coach. You can see the door right over here. Uh, right up top, this is your multimedia center as well as your DVD player. Multimedia center here is Bluetooth capable, so if you have a smart device, you can connect to that wirelessly. Then uh, naturally, the DVD player is hooked up to the TV here. So we open up these two compartments, you'll see some good extra storage over here. Uh, control panel for your lights as well as your awning are right here, and then all of your meters for your tank and battery are there too. Then as I mentioned right here is the TV. So again, you wanna watch some TV, movie, uh, whatever it may be, that is that uh, location there. And then right down here, you have great extra storage. You can see that right there, plenty of extra storage, which is nice. You'll see a hanging rod up there too. So if you do want to you know, hang up some jackets or sweatshirts or something, you have the capability to do that. It gives you some versatility there. Right back here is the bathroom, of course, a rear bathroom coach here. Uh, but one of the things I love about Winnebago products, and I say this in all my Tobel Winnebago product movies, is the doors. I know it sounds silly, but the interior doors on the Winnebagos are phenomenal. They're actually framed out in wood instead of plastic. Nice tight fit here. You see there's not a lot of slop. And I'm telling you, every time you open and close this door, it works. It sounds silly, but when you're out there, test some of the doors. You'll see what I mean. Half the time they'll pop open, they won't shut right. Not a problem here with the Winnebago product. On the back side of the door, you see right there is your robe hook. Then we take a look in the bathroom itself. Right down here in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. You do have good leg room there. In the corner, the Neo Angle shower. Uh, you'll see you have a hand wand there as well. And then over a little bit further is the sink top and vanity stainless steel bowl in here. Nice upgraded bowl. You have an electrical outlet storage down below. And then you have a mirrored medicine cabinet up top with additional storage behind that. So we step out of the bathroom, move into the kitchen area. Uh, you'll see that is located right over here. One of the things I like they did do here is even though this is a smaller coach, they did give you a double bowl sink. So that makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes as well as uh, they provided you there with a high rise faucet. Another window here to let in some natural light, LED light there right up top. You'll see some additional storage right up here. Of course, that's all your manuals and everything loaded up right there. Just got this one in from the manufacturer. Uh, right here is your microwave, fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Then right down here, they did give you a cooktop cover, which is nice. You're able to utilize this as prep space. Then we lift this up. You see the three burner cooktop, the front one there being high output. And then you have the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Underneath the oven yet, 
take a look at that. You have some nice extra storage. Now, granted, the PEX lines are running through there, but that's not a problem. They're fairly durable, so that way you can still put your pots and pans down there. Right down here, your sink top covers for both your sinks there, again, allowing you to utilize that as prep space, and then you have additional storage down below. For your silverware needs, you're covered there too. You have two full extension ball bearing drawers here. Top one is perfect for all your silverware. The bottom one would be a great place to put spatulas, large serving spoons, things of that nature. Then an electrical outlet there as well, in case you need to plug in a coffee maker, blender, anything like that. We take a look at the front of the coach, you will see right here rounding out your kitchen is your fridge freezer combo. Nice big fridge freezer, it's the double door which I like, especially again in a smaller coach. You have the cutout there for some of your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right down beneath here, you will see your furnace, real close to the bed as well as the dinette. And being in a smaller coach like this, the direct vent is actually better than having it ducted. This will do a great job of heating this space up here very quickly. Now, if we take a look at the front, you see the bed here. Uh, a couple great things. One, right down below, you do have some additional storage. Two nice big pull-out drawers. The bottom one here is extra deep. You can see that right there which is nice, so good extra storage right over there. Windows on either side to allow for nice cross breeze. You'll see right over here in the corner, you have an electrical outlet, so you have a place to plug in your phone, CPAP, anything else you might want there. Right up top, LED light as well as here, so it is nice and bright if you wanna read a book. And then some additional storage here going across the top. Now, if you do happen to have guests that are staying the night, sleeping on the dinette here, they also give you a privacy curtain so you can close that off, have a little bit of additional privacy. And lastly, right up top is your AC unit. So if it is really hot and you don't want to open up the windows and vents, you can certainly kick that guy on right there. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 1706 FB. This particular model has the cherry red exterior with the stone interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.